Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to go through some simple steps to creating custom dashboards inside Tenable Vulnerability Management. The examples we'll use today are very simple examples, but hopefully we'll get some ideas flowing about how you can utilize custom dashboarding in your environment. To get started, we'll go to our main menu and select Dashboards. On the right-hand side, select New Dashboard and Custom Dashboard. I'm going to rename my dashboard to Environment Overview. Select the check mark, and that will rename our dashboard. Down in the widget box, select New Custom, and we're going to create a few widgets. The first widget I make is going to be a donut chart, and I'm going to name this Operating Systems. For our data set, I'm going to use assets, and I'm going to limit the results to 10 results so that my donut chart doesn't get too crowded. I'm going to group by operating system, and under the stats dropdown, we'll select count because we're going to get a count of the operating systems in our environment. And under sort fields, I'm also going to use operating system. Now there are two ways you can select filters to narrow down the results. You can either click the Select Filters button, select a filter, and fill it out using the drop-down information. What we'll do today is we're going to create an advanced filter. The filter that I'm going to use is a filter that will look for Windows Server 2012, 2016, or any Linux operating system in my environment. Now you notice when I pasted in that uh, advanced filter, our chart type reset. That's because we were unaware of what type of filter was going to be dropped in. So we just had to make sure that we're using an appropriate type of chart. But you notice that donut chart is still available. So I'll select that. And when I click update preview, you'll see a preview of our donut chart. You can see here I have Windows Server 2016 machines, 2012 machines, and different Linux kernels listed. So this chart's finished. Finished. I'm going to click Save and Exit. And we're going to create another custom widget. This one is going to be a table. And I'm going to name it Vulnerabilities by Severity. Our data set that we're going to use is going to be findings. We're going to use vulnerabilities, and I'm going to limit it to five results. When we're grouping by severity, there really are only five possible results, critical, high, medium, low, and informational. I'm going to leave the group by box to say severity and stats to say count. The sort field I'm going to leave at severity as well. One thing I do want to do is select a filter we're going to select state. And I want to show the counts for everything that is not equal to fixed. So I want to see all the counts for the severities in my environment, but I don't want to show issues that have been fixed already. I'll select update preview. And you can see we have a very simple table that shows how many criticals, highs, mediums, lows, and informationals are in your environment. I'm going to save this widget as well. And we're going to create one more custom widget. This one will also be a table. I'm going to name this Vulnerabilities by Plugin. Our data set will still be our findings, and I'm going to limit this table to 20 different rows. Under Group By, I'm going to group by plugin ID. And the columns that I want to show are count, first value of plugin name, and then we also want to see last value of severity. Under sort fields, we'll select count. 
and under filters, we're going to do severity is not equal to informational because I don't want my table to be clogged up with all of our informational findings. I'll select save and update the preview. You can see now we have a table that lists the plugin IDs, the number of instances found in our environment, the name of the plugin, and the severity. These columns are all sortable. You can sort by count if you want to address instances that have the most uh, counts in your environment first. Or let's say you want to tackle your critical and high findings first. You can sort by severity as well, regardless of how many instances there are in your environment. I'm going to save this and back on our main dashboard page I'll select done editing and now I have a dashboard that shows the overview of vulnerabilities and operating systems in my environment. Feel free to play around with this, set some filters that are appropriate for your environment and this should get you started with custom dashboarding and tenable vulnerability management. Be sure to check back soon for more videos like this and some other helpful tips and tricks when operating inside Tenable Vulnerability Management.